Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh, those moments. We've all had them. It's not an aging issue. It's an everyday issue, especially since we have so much content and expectation around us. We are becoming forgetful. Or is it forgetfulness? Is it just that we don't take it all in the way it's meant to be? We're choosing to run. We're choosing to get to as quickly as possible because everybody is on a time schedule, right? Forgetting things that are sitting right there in front of us. And if you don't know me by now, I am a show prep whore. I am somebody who preps everything to make sure that I don't forget anything. And yet, I had a situation. It happened. Did I freak out? Maybe just a little. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Choice. This is what I was writing while the sun was waking up on a brilliant new day. Today, we're reading from June 16th, 2023. What was the story? Was it a moment of forgetfulness or just one of those days? I live a Google Calendar lifestyle, which means I'm always on the run. In all things that I do, like I said, I prep. I'm very good at getting the required tools ready for the next event. Yesterday, I left my recording equipment behind. A black case on the floor near my wallet and keys. How did I not see the recording tools? My mother had dementia. I always felt my sister did as well. Of course, I had to do some research because that's what I do. And research shows there are many different types of dementia. It's not just one type. There's several different layers, which is why we should always go to get professional help. They know what's going on. We cannot sit here and Google a self-diagnosis. The early signs of dementia. Difficulty doing daily tasks. Repetition. Problems with communication. Getting lost. Personality changes, confusion, loss of interest, and forgetting old memories. Now, I daily write, and I'm not going to lie to you. The reason why I daily write is because my mother, for the longest time, would always tell me, I don't remember. Mom, how how don't you remember? I This is part of my journey moving forward. I need to grow from where I was in my years of one to maybe five because I, I don't really remember those years. I don't remember. I don't remember. And that inspired me to start putting things on a page 29 years ago so that on those days when I tell people I don't remember, I'm actually going to say, hey, you know, my journals are in the other room. I give you full permission, love and support. Go in there, look up the day you're talking about, and see exactly where I was. Forgetting old memories, just one of the signs. It says nothing about a black case in a dark side of the house. But it's nice to know that each day is always a new step toward brand new beginnings. We all fear forgetting things and hate the moment when we realize, oh my God, oh my God, oh, oh my God, oh, I forgot those tools that we need in our everyday, forgetting them in your past, which was maybe 35, 40 minutes ago or 23 miles down the highway. Forgetfulness is what we do. It's who we are in this modern age. It doesn't mean we have to accept our forgetfulness, but what we've got to do is we've got to put our keys in the same place every day. And, you know, it wasn't fair to my waking self that was going to a movie premiere so early in the morning that my equipment is in a dark case in a dark side. I don't put light on that side of the house that early in the morning because I don't want my birds to wake up. It's not that I forgot it or that I didn't see it. I just didn't recognize the moment. I just didn't recognize the moment and the requirement to get into the transition of getting to where I needed to be. But I did feel like crap. I did hate myself in that moment. What was I going to do? I needed this because I had three incredible interviews, including a conversation with Jacqueline Bissett. 
a beautiful actress. What was I going to do? You have to punt. You have to rely on other tools. It teaches you that what you have in your comfort zone of tools, there's always something else just on the outside that we don't use, but we need these moments of forgetfulness or stumbles to be able to say, hey, look, it's not as bad as what you think because society and technology have provided other layers of outreach. So I want you to go into this day forgiving yourself for forgetting. We all do it. It's part of our DNA. But it doesn't mean that you're going into an element of aging just because you keep forgetting. What else is going on in your life that is causing the confusion? When you sit down and just ask yourself, what was going on before you opened the door and left. What led you to that moment of forgetfulness? Dark case, dark side of the house, on the floor. My normal routine does not involve me looking down at a dark case on a dark floor. Forgive. Forgive.